So to uh, be able to do some hardware prototyping on our BitsyBot, we're going to put the center section of a breadboard on top of our Arduino. We need to connect it to something, so we're looking at maybe using a wine cork to put between uh, these surface mount components here on the Arduino board. Uh, the cork is non-conductive and it's pretty easy to cut, so I figured that might be a good way to uh, con connect the, uh, the board. And so we need to find the height of our power connector and our USB connector and they happen to be uh, the same height so we can uh, cut our uh, wine cork down to the right size and uh, we're just trimming the rough edge off here with a hacksaw blade and actually should be doing that on top of a, a scrap piece of wood so we will move it to there just so we don't scar up the table when we get to the bottom of it and uh, you can see the cuts not perfectly straight uh, so we're, we're gonna what we're to, in order to fix that we're gonna cut the cork just a little bit larger than we need it to be and uh, it's close to two centimeters there and then we're gonna take the uh, cork and, and file it down and get it nice and smooth and the file will let us take off just a little bit at a time so we can get it just the exact right height now that we have the cork the right size we're going to uh, squeeze out a blob of uh, hot glue that's about the size of a dime and we're gonna push our cork down on the center of it and so that way the uh, cork is going to be able to support our breadboard. Now w when I did this I realized that the cork was too far over and it's actually obscuring some of the numbers. It's covering over some of the numbers that I need to be able to see. So I was able to trim a little bit of it off with the hot, uh, I'm sorry, with the uh, break-off blade knife. And apparently cutting through the grain structure of the cork in this direction works pretty well with the knife. Uh, so uh, in order to get it lined up just right, just uh, trimming off the edge there to make it just a little cleaner. And then uh, there's a little bit of hot glue left at the bottom, so to clean that off I'm just going to score it and then take a screwdriver and peel it up. So now we have our, our connection and it looks like our, our breadboard will be pretty well supported. And there's a double stick tape on the back of the breadboard that's got a paper coating over the top of it. So we need to remove that paper coating or paper cover to expose the double stick tape and allow us to stick the breadboard down. So we're just removing that uh, coating, uh, the paper coating or paper covering, and uh, getting it, we're only removing it in the sections where we know it's going to touch the uh, cork, the USB connector, and the power adapter connector. And once we have that um, lined up, we'll just take our breadboard and press it into place. And this is going to allow us to change out different components like resistors and capacitors and transistors and allow us to do some different configurations and experiments with the uh, BitsyBot.